Welcome back to the locker room. Well, fans, it's time to toss out your press pass, throw away that media guide, and take a look at this set that features two pairs of Marquette's finest feet. I am, of course, talking about the boots on Matt Pizdrowski and Nick Kay's feet. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah, it's truly an honor to have you. Now, earlier today you saw uh, our boy John here, you know, playing a little soccer. Be honest with me now. Could Coach Louie Bennett come to the set and, you know, maybe find a certain someone to recruit? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the silence. The silence. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of speaks for everything. You know, he, he did a good job out there, especially because I know he said he hasn't been out, uh, you know, on the soccer pitch for a while. Seven. Seven years. So seven years. <laughs> Haven't even touched one. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, he, he got some good strikes in there. He did make one save. So uh, thanks, thanks for that, by the way. That, yeah. was, that was clutch. <laughs> really, really appreciated the, the, the soft pass to the <laughs> well, two we'll, feet to my side. We'll talk about the season just for a little bit. Obviously, I know it's probably something you guys don't want to keep hearing, but you got, you guys have been so close in so many of your matches this year, especially since some of the top against some of the top teams. You take St. John's down to the final seconds where you. I'll play them pretty much throughout that entire match. That one gets away. UIC, this the same thing last week. I know you guys are competitors, and obviously you're not going to make excuses or accept, you know, yeah, I know it's a loss. We played well, but who cares? But do you guys feel you are kind of, you know, right on that edge, ready to, you know, make that jump to the next level? Yeah, I think I really feel like we are. Um, you know, this is my fourth year mm -hmm. here now. Um, I registered my sophomore year. And... I've never felt, it's almost painful how right. cl close we've, I feel right now, um, just uh, with the chemistry and, and uh, the guys, I just love our group of guys and it's just a matter of putting all the pieces together right now and just getting the last little bit of, uh, of uh, click and, and uh, cohesiveness to really step it up because with our results, as you mentioned, we, it just shows how really close we are with uh, our mm -hmm. results against top 20 opponents. Now, Matt, you personally this year have, you know, had yourself one of the best keepers in the Big East and let alone the nation. How do all these accolades, like Big East on row, Keeper of the Week, and College Soccer News Team, you know, how, do those, how does that feel? You know, it, it feels great, um, obviously, because, you know, I've been putting in hard work for a long time. Uh, and it always feels good to get recognized. Um, and, and I know I've, I've mentioned it to certain people before, but you know what, I, I would definitely trade that in in a heartbeat just to, you know, see, see some of these results turn around and, uh, and you know, get us some more victories. Definitely. You know, Nick, you you have a couple accolades yourself. I personally am aware of how hard you're <laughs> the ball. But, you know, I mean, when you, you, you were the team's most improved player last year, and now you, you're set up for a really big season this year, and you, you've got the, the teammates around you to really break through. I mean, how do you feel about, you know, coming into the season, like on a personal level, how you can really contribute to this team this year? Um, you know, my job as a as a forward is to score goals, and I've, I've got one this year. I really wish I had a few more um, in the bag, but um, you know I'm just gonna keep keep work, working towards uh, improving myself even more, and uh, uh, with my teammates, just getting that that last little bit of uh, scoring that we need to push us to the next. Just level. Uh, so. just convince the opposing coaches to throw me in net. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are set. Just set. Th this one's for both of you. This team, uh, with the injury to Dan Addis, no seniors on the squad. Now, Dan will be back next year, obviously, coming off the injury. But for you guys, I mean, you guys are some of the elder statesmen uh, on the team. You know, how has that been in the leadership role, and how much have you embraced that? Um, you know, it, it, it's fortunate, you know, for the future that, mm -hmm. you know, we don't have any seniors this year. But, uh, I mean, so, some, I think some of the younger guys, uh, you know, only after playing a year, uh, Scott Miller, uh, you know, is, is, is a big contributor to that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they've had to step up and, and you know, take kind of some se senior leadership role. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, I think it's almost been a good thing because usually when you come to college, you know, there, there's kind of a big difference between the freshmen and the seniors. And uh, there's a big transition period. And, and I think almost because we kind of understand, uh, you know, where they're coming from because I think we're a little closer to them. It, it, it's made it a little bit easier for them, uh, you know, and, and I think, I think as Nick mentioned, you know, we're real close this year. Um, and, and I think, you know, kind of not just being teammates, but, you know, almost being a family has it, kind of helped us, but, you know, we obviously need to get to the next level as well. Nick, do you think that, you know, with Piz back there making the big saves like he does, does that, does that give your offense just that extra little bit of boost out there? Oh, yeah. It, it makes, it, like, seeing Piz making PK saves and, uh, um, um, playing around like a, like an octopus, as we like to call it. Um, 
um, against Louisville. It, it really does because I know he's doing his, jo his job back there, just uh, giving us that, that, uh, that opportunity for, like, if we can just get that one goal, we can push ourselves. Does it, does it, do you guys change your, your approach a little bit, knowing you've got a stellar defense? And stopper and net, like can you can you push up a little, can you be a little more aggressive on the counterattacks, you know, spread yourselves out a little bit more. Is that something that you you do, or do you just play normally and know that they've got your back? Well, yeah, we definitely know that they they have our back, but yeah, we I'm, we feel um, like we can now like start to take those extra opportunities to get forward because we know that like our back four, back five have got got our backs. They're going to be solid back there, and they're going to do their jobs almost all the time and so right now we're as a team we're just focusing on getting getting that finishing aspect to, of our of our uh, team play all right guys uh, we're running out of a little bit of time here so we always want to dive into the lighter side of things um, your teammate Paul Monson <laughs> looks like Paul Bunyan your thoughts <laughs> <laughs> we uh, it was actually kind of funny today because uh, we uh, we play a little joke on him. We call him Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're a little off on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. But uh, you know, it's pretty close. Uh, you know, he he's quite a character. Um, he's actually he's he's kind of had a big big role. Uh, you know, being a true freshman, stepping up to you know be a center back. He looks like he's 30. And he looks <laughs> like he's 30. So so that obviously helps. Hopefully, scaring some of the other forwards a little bit. All right, guys. Well, it's been a true pleasure having you on here. We wish you best of luck along the way. And for everyone else watching out there, thank you so much for tonight. We'd like to thank Nick Kay, Matt Pizjowski from the men's soccer team for coming out with us tonight, for Brian Henry, Todd Warner, and of course, the soccer expert, the new Freddie Adu, Pele, and whatever else you want to call him, <laughs> or Nick Kay. Uh, <laughs> we'll be taking a short leave of absence, guys, and for fall break, that's on the horizon. But in two weeks, we'll see you again when we're about to kick off men's and women's basketball season. That's it for the locker room. For everyone here again, good night, Marquette, and have a lovely evening. <laughs> Pele. 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 Sorry. You're going to compare him to.